Welcome back to Hand of Fate. Let's attempt to take on the Queen of Plague. Queen of Plague, terror of mankind. You will not be the one to bury her. Banish your curses with caution while facing the Queen. You know you risk the true and final death at this table, as I risked my life in ages past. Four gold game cards. I'm sure you are grateful for that. All right. Well, I'm pretty much rich right out of the right out of the gates. Yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to remove Mr. Lionel or the Maiden. They're just too damn good. <laughs> there we go. Wow, I that is incredibly lucky. First I meet the weird goblin dude that just wants to give me free stuff. And then the maiden, which also wants to give me free stuff. Alright, I'll take supplies. Hmm. Moonlight. Unholy creatures. I'll forgive you for arriving here once, but I hope it is the last time. Let's continue the vampire storyline. There's a token in it for you if you win. In the moonlit ruins of a long forgotten castle, a host of unholy creatures gather. You discover that vampires are holding secret blood auctions. Mortals are allowed to bid using their own blood. Let's bid some blood. You are ushered into the circle of bidders. Tonight's item is a magical ring that you are unfamiliar with. Wait, you can bid up to 180 health? How is that even possible? I mean, I know you can get things that raise your max health, but... How likely is it that you're actually going to be able to raise it up to 180? Hmm. I guess I'll bid 60. A strange creature comes to you and draws out your blood. You gotta pay, even if you lose the bid, the creature explains. Oh. That's not typically how auctions work, but okay. You wait while all the bids are taken. Oh god. Oh god. That's not good. Choose from these options. Okay, the best I can do is eliminate one, so I track the top one, which was a failure, and that is this one. So this one is guaranteed failure, which means I have a 1 in 3 chance of getting this right. <sighs> you lose the bid. The vampires take a break before the next item, and you decide to leave before they take an interest in you. That was very unproductive. Four of Plague should be no problem. Especially since now I start with a shield and a decent weapon.
Oh no, it's the one with the barking dog. No. Uh, fuck. Look, I'll give you all of my gold to go put a muzzle on that dog, alright? Deal? Ring of Poverty. When this ring is sold, all the player's gold is lost, but the player receives plus one max health for every five gold lost as a result of this sale. Hmm. That could be worth it if you had a lot of gold, but I don't. All weapon attacks are enhanced with a powerful poison that taints the victim's mind and body. That sounds excellent. Oh, time heals. Okay, that time heals is really amazing. That can completely save your ass. Yeah, let's go with this. There is no medicine stronger than time. It only has three uses, though, so I need to be careful. I don't have any particular reason to buy food at the moment. I'm not low, and I'm sure I'm going to come across another shop before I run out, so... Uh, I think I'll just save my gold. Head downwards, if you dare. Soon the game will end. I will take your piece from the board. It will be done. Unlike other opponents, I will remember you fondly. Okay, here we go again. Third or fourth time. A lot of mini challenges. Okay. I have no idea. I'll take it. I perhaps finally going to actually get this token? You pass a stall that presents a wide variety of colored vials, elixirs, and potions for sale. A young woman sees your interest and gestures to a bright green mixture, saying, with a thick accent, Care to taste? It's not cost gold. Can you hear my incredibly thick accent? Oh yes, I was truly authentic. You take a sip of the liquid, then suddenly decide to drink down the entire bottle. After a moment, you feel refreshed and full of energy. No, no, the woman says, waving away your coin. I say, the price you pay, not gold, you pay later. Hmm. Well, that's awfully generous, given that this entire thing is just one big, like, fever dream. It's not actually real, so I don't think anybody's going to be able to collect on that debt. One max health gain card. A little extra health, but it is only a momentary respite. You leave the stall, feeling fit but confused at the woman's cryptic words. But what could the price be if not your gold? Ah, didn't get the token. I guess maybe I need two huge successes? Oh, wait, what? How come I'm able to see this stuff? I mean, I'll take it, but I'm confused. Uh, charity, cursed gambler, traveling healer, and another cursed gambler. Alright, lots of cursed gambling. Oh, I have the... You start out with the, um, the, the thing of hindsight, right? When you get to the stairs, you're able to see everything that was behind you? Yeah! So that means I'm at the stairs, or whatever the exit is. Okay. Well, I definitely don't want to step on the Cursed Gamblers, but I wouldn't mind stepping on Charity. <laughs> wouldn't mind stepping on Charity. I'm just gonna walk all over Charity. So, hold on a second. Every game must have both winners and losers. Without them, it degenerates into nothingness. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a risk, but I really want the token. So let's just do it and hope that I come across a shop pretty soon. Ten food. A priest humbly accepts your provisions. Let me see if I have anything in my sack with which to reward such generosity. 
Alright, it'd be embarrassing to fail now. Come on. Alright, we're good. Ah! The priest exclaims, and draws out a tarnished old ring. Isn't this the same thing that happened before? But it wasn't that with Charity 1, this is Charity 2, but it looks like the same sort of thing is happening. Many of these blessings are too good for the likes of you. <laughs> Gee, thank you. On any hit, the player inflicts two more damage for each blessing they possess. Including this one, I'm assuming? That's pretty damn good, actually. Another token brings you closer to your goals. Alright, and what about my artifact? Time heals, that's right. Wait, wasn't there something else? No, there's the other thing I was going to buy, but I didn't. Never mind. Okay, I really need food. Few have seen the homelands of the lizard men, and fewer still survive the experience. Okay, well, I think I can get a bunch of game cards for completing this, so this actually might give me food. Let's do it. Oh, right, I have no shield. Okay, gotta remember that. <laughs> he just shot his friend in the back. Nice. I think if I just hang out here, they're just going to keep burning themselves. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to win. I'm just going to hang out here. He's uh, too scared to use his weapon, apparently. Come on. Oh, I think I have to end it myself. Yep. Let me see if I can push him. There. Burn, burn, burn! Come on, come on, come on! <laughs> oh my god, you have so many hit points. Burn already. Oh, almost at him. <laughs> Oh, this is truly the most advanced artificial intelligence ever made. I love it. Four game cards. Holy crap. That was... J four game cards for that? That was nothing. Oh, that is Fire. a good weapon. In its multitudinous forms, we still hold it in esteem and wonder. And food. Excellent. Okay, now hold on a second. This is the one that has the... Yeah, press left bumper to restore the fire and burn nearby enemies. So I'm assuming that means that after a certain number of hits, the fire goes out. So if you press that, it restores the fire, and it also says it burns nearby enemies. So does that mean when you go to restore the fire on it, it also does like an AoE? I'll have to test it. Win this and claim my token. Still don't have the money. Sorry. Nature is the greatest threat, even with a queen now dispatched. Be swift. This is a new one? A challenge for you, and a token if you succeed. You are traveling through a desert when a dust storm approaches. You may be able to reach the safety of some nearby hills before the storm hits you. Hmm. 
Run for the hills or stay? I don't see the harm in staying. Other than perhaps suffocating on dust, but... Eh. Okay, I'll run. Eh. I think this is a huge failure. As for which ones are success, I have no idea. You reach the hills just as the dust storm arrives. The card's token is now yours. Oh. Well, that was pretty easy. Um, oh, you know what? This one I could probably do now. I think the reason I didn't take it before was because I was lacking food or something, right? And actually, to be honest, I'm still lacking food, but... I'm gonna take it. Thank you. This will mean the world to his family. The town would have revolted had these artifacts not been returned. It is not far to the hero's hometown. Look for the town cleric when you get there. Such an elegant use of rage and anger. You wouldn't expect it of the barbarian hordes. Left a bumper to trigger rage. Man, as cool as that sounds, I think the Scorching Zeal is just better. It does more damage by default, it has fire, and it's also holy. Yeah, I'm not gonna equip it. Are you sure that's the right approach? Hmm. A Shield Bash deals damage to the opponent. Damage increased as you go up, uh, combo tiers. Interesting. Yeah, I think it's simply better than my default shield, so let's go with it. And hurry. It is not wise to anger the spirits of the dead by delaying their proper rights. I appreciate your ingenuity. I look forward to seeing how you approach this particular challenge. After five steps, player loses 50% max health. Okay, so I need to find where the stuff needs to go right now, or I'm going to be crushed by a huge boulder. And I guess that's entirely dependent on luck? More? Wait, what? Is it... Oh, was that, oh, was that showing me where it was? So it's, it's right here. Uh, one more down. Well, in that case, let's go straight there. I prefer not to play at chance. I only contend with the most serious of games. In an old tavern at the edge of a dark forest, you meet a gambler. Care to try your luck at the cards? He asks, with a wicked gleam in his eye. Why would I want to say yes? You're... Not only would I not want to gamble normally, but you're a cursed gambler. No. Fortune favors the bold, the strange man remarks as you leave him. Later, you stand outside the tavern and realize that some of your food is missing. Son of a bitch. Great, I'm about to starve to death. Look. Look deeply. This is the fate of heroes. You reach Wondermere, hometown of the dead adventurer. The town cleric meets you at the gate. He appears to have been standing vigil. <laughs> you can be a bit of a douchebag and keep the dead hero's gear. No, I'm not going to keep it. Although, strangely enough, it says return the hero's sword. What about the shield? Thank you. This blade will once again be wielded in righteous fury. Do you also have his shield? Mm-hmm. Truly, you have done the Almighty's work in returning the shield. Thank you. 
Blessed are we who, protected, can fell those who trespass against us. Two blessings? That is very good. The gods look upon you favorably. Whenever the player eats food, they gain twice the usual healing. Okay. Useful. Whenever the player is struck by a ranged attack, there's a chance that the attacker will be stunned for three seconds. That's also good. So that means I now have, what, three blessings? And I also have a blessing that increases the damage that I do for each blessing. Isn't it two damage for every blessing? So three times two, which is six. So six extra damage. On top of my 32 that I already do, plus the burning, plus the holy, assuming I'm fighting an unholy thing. I'm going to do an incredible amount of damage. You have done blessed work this day. For your services, we will prepare for you a sacred artifact that you may continue your good work through the dark days ahead. Well, everything's going great except for the fact that I'm about to starve. Hmm. Both of those are new. Would either of them possibly gain me food? I have no idea. I'm just going to continue. Ah, travel. Of course, it does tend to attract an unsavory element. I can hear her summoning her children. This fight will be bloody. Time to start starving to death. Starvation begins to set in. Try to stay calm. Fear will only hasten your demise. This is also one I don't think I've encountered before. A light draws you to a nearby hilltop, where you see a warlock disappear in a cloud of sulfur, leaving behind his, leaving behind his summoned minions. Yeah, let's do it. Four of Skulls should not be a problem. I'm a little bit worried about the Two of Scales. If they're ranged attackers. If they're not, then it's fine. Oh, one is. One's ranged. Uh, oh. It didn't equip my shield. Son of a bitch. skeletons first, because I should be able to make quick work of them. Ah, ah damn it! I've gotten hit by, like, every single fireball. Burn! Have a taste of your own medicine, you stupid bastard. Probably should have used time heals, actually. But yeah, I need to equip my shield, assuming it didn't mysteriously disappear again. I'm sure you're grateful for that. at the Chains of Rage. An excellent way to turn an injury into an asset. Strikes sustained from bows and wands have a chance to restore your cooldowns. Yeah, simply a better version than a better version of what I currently have, so let's put it on. As you climb down the other side of the hill, you spy what looks like the remains of an ancient temple on another nearby hilltop. It is yours. You can take it. Okay, please tell me I have a shield that I can equip. I don't. Okay, so... What? I don't understand why stuff just randomly disappears. Like, you get another weapon and you tend to still have your other weapons. But I used... I, I equipped the hero shield in place of my default shield and it disappeared. 
I don't get it. I mean, there's my old medium armor. I still have my armor, but I don't still have my shield? What happened? I don't get it. Ooh, this is not gonna be good without a shield. I think I'll make use of my AoE. Hmm, are there traps here? That did not work on anything. There we go. Get burned. Okay, not too bad. Just had to revert to my, uh... kind of Dark Souls style of combat, which is to dodge constantly. One food gain card. Oh, thank God. Please be ten food. Please be ten food. Okay, I'll take it. Also, I believe I'm going to gain twice the health for every food that I consume, right? Wasn't that a thing? A blessing? Yeah, there we go. Plus ten. The more powerful the sight, the more vile its trespasses. While searching the sacred tombs of Wandermere, you come across a group of skeletons conducting a dark ritual. Three monster cards, oh my god. Alright. Easy. Easy. And... yeah, that should be easy. I could leave, but hell no. Use my AoEs. Keep in mind I have time heals. And this weapon is incredibly good against these things. Watch out for the traps around the tomb. <laughs> They're actually getting killed by the traps. What's around here? Let's do some sightseeing. Alright. There's a skull in a puddle of water. Cool. What's up here? A place where I can't do anything? As the last broken bone clatters to the stone floor, you realize that your intervention has come too late. The sarcophagus is slowly cracking open. You quickly grab what you can from the area and flee the chamber. Two equipment guards. Excellent. I don't really need any food. I mean, I don't really need any um, armor or weapons, but hopefully I'm going to get a shield from this. Excellent. Every third encounter does not consume food. Oh, that's a nice one, too. Way better than the uh, Crown of Hindsight, I think it's called. As pleases you. Standing outside a moment later, you hear an unholy shriek that will haunt your dreams forever. This card will unlock more cards, and then still more. You must dig deeply if you wish to discover the heart of this mystery. And here is my food. Please don't be the dog place. Please don't have a barking dog. Please don't have a barking dog. 
<sighs> no barking dog. Ah, isn't it beautiful? So beautiful. Calming. What do I not need? Well, I don't need my crown of hindsight. I don't need my medium armor. Middle of the road in every way. I think you're trying to insult me, but I don't even care, because there's no barking dog. Um, uh, I, I probably should just buy food, but let's see what's available to buy, if anything stands out. When this weapon randomly takes the properties of a different weapon each combat. That's... that's weird. Nah, let's get food. Is this one more efficient for getting food in terms of how much you pay per food than this? It is. Yeah, because this is uh, three monies per food, and this is four monies per food. Ah, I guess I get a bulk discount. And I'm one gold short. In fact, I could actually go explore every single place on this level, and that will give me a bonus because of the cap that I have, which means I could go back to the shop and recoup my lost food. Yes, that sounds good. Don't you find it interesting to consider that you're sitting at my table to play our game, recalling sitting at a table playing another game? Circles and cycles without end. It is a bit strange when you put it that way. But no, I'm not going to play. And he didn't even steal any of my food. Hmm. I don't really need anything. Eh, but I mean, the most I'm going to lose is some health. And that's not really that big of a deal, because I restore health so quickly just by moving around because of my blessing. Ten health per move. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so there's traps and that stuff to the side of me, so let's be careful. Arrow shooting thing. Almost dodged it. I saw it, but I couldn't move fast enough. Yeah, that wasn't too bad at all. I'm sure you're grateful for that. Every hit you sustain increases your speed and weapon strength. Hmm. Interesting. I really don't know which one I like more. Um. I like the fact that Chains of Range. Uh, ch chains of Range. Chains of Rage seems to mix pretty well with Time Heals. Because I believe that's what it means by restoring your cooldowns, right? Because right now, uh, by default, and at maximum, Time Heals has three different uses. 
And once you use those up, that's it. Unless you do something that restores them, I think. So I think when it says has a chance to restore your cooldowns, I think that's what it means. There's a chance to give me back one of those uses. I think. And if so, then that's really, really good. Because obviously the more damage you take, the more strikes that you sustain. But wait, wait, that's only for bows and wands. How Come many now, hurry up. We don't have forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many bows and wands am I really going to be fighting against? Probably not very many. Hmm. But it does offer better defense. Um, I'm going to stick with the medium armor. Why have just one weapon when you can have them all? Um... No. The Scorching Zeal is way too good to just... To just hope that whatever random weapon I get is better than it. A combat even I have waited to see. Majestic. Well, that came sooner than I thought. Here we go. Queen rats have great skill with their spears, and are accompanied by a totem that spreads their toxic, damaging filth. The Ratman Queen can birth thousands of her foul kind, protecting them with her prodigious spear skills. Or is that prodigious? Prodigious. As in, like, of a prodigy? Prodigious? I think so. Uh, yeah, I think it's prodigious. Like, prodigy. Anyway. Accompanied by a totem that spreads their toxic damaging filth. It sounds like there might be a totem for me to destroy. Which I probably should. Yeah. Alright. So let's remember, I have my AoE attack on the left bumper for my weapon, and on the right bumper I have three uses of time heals. Which essentially means that I have almost three lives. I mean, obviously you don't want to wait until you're actually down to, like, ten hit points to use it. But I do almost have full, like, three full lives. Okay. We play for a token now. Got a shield now, so this should be a lot easier. So I'm thinking go for the totem first, assuming I can actually damage it. It's got such a cute voice. I don't even want to kill it. All right, where's the totem? Oh, there it is. Holy shit! All right, you do a lot of casting. Damn things being casted. Way too many. You display marvelous dexterity for one who seems such an oaf. Alright, might as well use time heals right now just to be careful. No reason to hold it. Burn you for the fun of it. The rat kind will not easily recover from this loss. A million half orphaned rats will fall upon you like a tide of horror. Why do you still play? Why can't you walk away? 
You have earned your prize today. Charity 3. Charity Harder. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Yay! After weathering the desert storm, I get to get lost in the desert. I've, I've earned the right to get lost in the desert. only begun to challenge you. The kings are woken and will not be laid to rest. Alright, let's set up our deck for the next time we want to go, and then I'll end the episode. So let's see, curses. Corrupted soul. Minus, minus 10 max health. <laughs> no, the first one's a dash, the second one's a minus. If that was actually minus minus 10 health, then it wouldn't be a curse. Uh, minus 10 max health whenever the player gains a new curse. Hmm, so it's like a compound curse. Performing a prone attack inflicts 5 damage on the player. Uh, what's a prone attack? <gasps> oh, wait a minute! Is that those kind of weird attacks where if you go to attack somebody and they get, like, pushed to the ground? If you knock them to the ground, and you keep attacking, there's that kind of like special animation where you're just whacking at them on the ground. Is that what that is? Is that a prone attack? So it actually punishes you for attacking people when they're down? I think it has it's... been called the game of eternity that we play. I didn't think that meant you'd take forever to make a decision. <laughs> the undead king. In life, he was strong. In death, he's unstoppable. Your road will end here, I suspect. Let's throw in this because it's new and shiny. I really need more rings. I barely have any. And I don't like the Ring of Poverty, so let's toss that out. That's the weird one that gives you plus one max health for every, like, three or five gold or something when you sell it. Something like that. Let's throw this in. Alright, we gotta toss something. What do I have too many of? I have way too many... Way too many, uh, helmets. I just don't seem to get them very often. Uh, I guess I'll throw out the scavenger's cap. Sure. Alright, toss out the old ones. Battle at Brooktop, a done. Yeah, I'm not sure why these have the little locks on the top. Maybe it's the whole, um... The, the culling the Ratman. Maybe I need to pay him the money and then I'll get rid of these. I think that might be what's going on. Anyway, uh, Lizard Dome's pretty great, so I think I kind of want to leave it. Treasure chest is okay, maze of traps is fine. Uh, Heroes Remains actually was some really quick money. Well, not just money, but just really quick gains. I guess it just depends on how far away the shop is as to whether that's quick or not. But it's probably not going to be too far away, because it seems like it shows you where it is and it's always on the same level, I think. Or something like that. Alright, what can we add? Alright, so that's literally all the new ones. Um, I guess I still want Blood Auction, yeah. Let's keep that. 
Uh, let's toss out a sleep in the forest. Oh wait, no, I haven't completed that yet, have I? Still got a little symbol. Um, okay, let's toss out Twisted Canyon. And switch one. I feel like Maze of Traps is a lot easier to complete than Treasure Chest. So let's toss out Treasure Chest. There we go. Tons of new and incomplete things. All right. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I will attempt to take on the King of Skulls.